What's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you five ways that you can edit faster in Final Cut Pro 10. Coming right up. Guys, these editing tricks I'm about to show you are not talked about that often. Be sure to stick around till the end of the video and hit subscribe right now because there's tons more stuff like this coming out. All right, let's jump over to my desk. Tip number one is a way to help you edit documentary footage, interview footage, or like maybe wedding ceremony footage a lot quicker. So instead of watching it back in real time, you can watch it back at a much quicker speed and just listen to the important audio and then cut it up as you need to. So by pressing L, that shortcut will first play the footage back at regular speed. And then if you click it twice, it'll play back at twice the speed. It was actually very easy. I've been here since day one and I just, and then if you press K again on the keyboard, that'll pause it. And maybe you want to go back and hear what she said again. Then you can press J on the keyboard. And that'll rewind it. And then you can press K again to stop it and so on. So you could see how you could get through footage so much quicker, literally at double the speed. This is how I edit all of my interview footage. I never take the time to listen back at normal speed because that is just way too slow of an editing process for me. On to tip number two. This is the fastest way to make audio adjustments on your footage. I have a clip here that the audio is just too loud and clipping and doesn't sound very good. So you'll want to go over to this drop down and choose range selection or press R on the keyboard to bring it up and then select the area where you want to make the audio adjustment. You can either drag this bar down, which I'm going to do because it's peaking, or if you need to bring the levels up, obviously drag it up. And as you can see, it automatically makes the in and out points for you, these nice keyframes, all right? And it even tapers it off for you. And of course you can go in and customize them as needed. Now that is so much faster than going in manually and making all of these keyframes. Tip number three is the quickest way to help you choose between two different video clips or audio clips during your edit. So what you want to do is stack the two that you're choosing between on top of each other. And then you can go ahead and watch it back. And when you're ready to see what the second option looks like, select the clip on top and press V on the keyboard. That will deactivate the clip. And then you can see how it fits into your edit. And when you're ready to see how that first one looks again, simply select that clip and press V on the keyboard again, and that will reactivate the clip. This gets rid of the whole need of dragging clips in and out of the timeline and deleting them and bringing them back and forth. It just saves so much time. Tip number four is the fastest way to do time remapping on your footage or speeding up and slowing down your footage. So normally what you would have to do is, you know, find a spot in your footage where you might want to change the speed of it and then, you know, make a cut, blade it, and then choose that clip go over to you know the time remapping drop down here and choose whether you want to speed it up or slow it down and then go to the other clip and do that same thing so instead of doing that you want to choose a spot in your footage where you want the time difference to occur and then on your keyboard press shift b and right away it's made a split and you can go over and select where this drop down is where it says 100 percent and change the speed so I want to speed it up 20 times faster and right away you can see it play back. It's going to zoom right in and then go to a normal speed. Now if you think, hey, that was just a little bit too fast for me, no problem. You can go over and drag the clip back out and slow it down a little bit and maybe you even want to speed up the other clip. You can drag it in and make it just a little bit faster. Tip number five is the fastest way to make uniform adjustments to your footage. Let's say that you have a clip and you want to start making some color corrections to it. So I'm going to do a couple adjustments here real quick. You know, boost the saturation on this footage, crush the blacks. And once I have what I think looks good, I want to apply that to the rest of my clips instead of going through and manually doing that, which can just take so much time. 
So select the clip where you've made the adjustments and then on your keyboard press Command C. Then go over to the next clip or maybe it's a whole bunch of clips you can select multiple at a time. Select them and then go to edit and from the drop down select paste attributes. Once that paste attributes window pops up you can select exactly what it is that you want to paste over. For us we just want to paste over the color board and then I'm going to go ahead and click paste. And right away you could see that it has made the same color adjustments to this footage as the other footage. This is the fastest way to do your color correcting and just a lot of other little tweaks that you may do to all of your footage every time you edit. I want to hear from you guys. What things do you do to edit faster in Final Cut Pro? Be sure to leave a comment below and I'll reply. And hit subscribe right now. I have so many more videos coming out on editing, shooting, lighting, everything like that. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video.